Greetings viewers and welcome to today's Sage 200 Evolution info sharing session. Today's session will cover the general ledger relink and how to resolve a scenario where you have an out of balance trial balance. Now the trial balance really is a very important report to view in any application. It gives you a breakdown of every general ledger account and the closing balance of that account as at a certain period in time. If we go to our trial balance report within Sage Trend Evolution, you'll see that there's a range of filter options we can make use of when viewing the report. These include selecting an account from and to range, specifying a financial year, and within that financial year, specifying a relevant period. You can also group by financial account type and also determine what you'd want to print or display on that particular trial balance report. So I'm going to preview the report for my financial year. And we've got details about all the relevant GL accounts and their closing balances as at that particular period. Now, as the name implies, a trial balance should always be in balance. But if you look at the scenario, you'll see that there happens to be an imbalance on our particular trial balance for that period. And let's just see exactly how to troubleshoot and resolve this particular scenario. Right, so I'm just gonna close the report. And now the important thing to remember is that when you have such a scenario, an out of balance trial balance, it's important to determine exactly which period, in which period the imbalance occurs. So I'm going to run the report, for example, maybe for the first six months of the year and preview that. And they'll see that that's in balance. I just try a different date range. There we go. And that's all seems to be in order. So we run the report this time with a different date range. And there we appear to have our imbalance. So what we can deduce is that the imbalance is occurring in the month of November 2020. Now the first step in order to try to resolve or troubleshoot the scenario is to run a process called a general ledger relink. And that can be found under your general ledger maintenance. We have a general ledger relink option. Now, when running the relink, it's important that we accomplish or undertake two prerequisites. Firstly, we need to ensure that all users have exited the application and that a backup has been made of the database before the relink is run. So once those two prerequisites have been covered, we can then proceed with the GR relink. And as you can see, there's a whole range of options and checks that are done when the relink takes place. So it's a case of simply specifying which options you want to make use of and select those particular features. I'm going to say check for all of these options and start the relink. There's just a warning once again advising uh, the user to ensure all users have exited the application and that a backup has been made of the database. We can then continue. And what we have here is that relink has picked up that there happens to be a posting to a master account. And as we know in Sage Trend Evolution, all postings need to be done to the sub account, no postings to the master account. We now need to simply move that transaction from the current master account into a sub account. Right, so at this particular point, you may not be sure of which account to move it to. So I'm going to cancel this option and then let's continue with the relink. A warning then appears informing me that there were errors, which allows me to go and check out the errors in the message log view or the log file. So I'm going to open up the log file, expand, and what you'll notice is that we've got details about the running of the GL, int the, the GL relink, and it tells us that there happens to be a picked up that there was a transaction in the master account, and if we move a bit further down, it picks up that there was one error. 
However, the error has not been fixed. So now it's simply a case of, as the user, go to inquire on this particular GL account, see which transaction is causing the imbalance, and then determine exactly which account that transaction has been moved to when we run the GL relink. So once that has been established, I'm going to go back to my general ledger relink. There we go. And once again, specify those options and begin with the relink. Right, we're going to continue. And at this particular point, I'm now fully aware of which account I need to move this transaction to. So on my drop down, I'm just going to go and find that account from my list of GL accounts. And there we go. I'm going to link it to my office equipment cost account. Say OK and continue with the relink. Right, let's just go check the log file once again and expand the log file details. And it's going to give us once again the breakdown and tell us that there was a transaction in the master account. And if you move further down, it tells us that one error was picked up and that error has now been fixed. So close the log file. And if I now go rerun my trial balance, I'm going to go rerun it for the period where we know there was an imbalance previously. Preview the report. And what you'll notice there is that the trial balance is now in balance. So just close that, rerun the TB for the full period, for the full financial year, preview, and all appears to be in order. Debits and credits are in balance. The trial balance is in fact in balance. Now, it's always a good thing once you've run the GL relink and you've corrected any errors that may appear to go rerun the relink. So I'm going to go back into my maintenance general ledger, general ledger relink, and I'm going to go rerun the relink after I've corrected those errors we picked up initially. Start the relink, continue, and there we go. So no errors were found, the, trial, the errors have been resolved, and the trial balance, as we've seen earlier, has been balanced. Now, the general ledger relink, what you'll notice is that in instances whereby you're upgrading a database from one version to the other, when opening up the database for the first time, a general, re a general ledger relink is performed. This process simply ensures that all the balances are correct and that information has been upgraded from a prior version of the database to the new version. So as you can see in scenarios where you do have an out of balance trial balance, the first step of troubleshooting really is to ensure all users exit the application, make a backup of the data, run the relink, and then if there are any errors, view the log file, see exactly where the errors are, and then from there, determine how to resolve those particular errors. Right, so thank you for watching. That's all from me today. Over and out and goodbye.